I've just heard loads of screaming and shouting. I've got to video this. These people are confused. You got, you see that down there? You got loads and loads of people that are wandering along, holding placards, Black Lives Matter. Most of these people are white. They've all fallen for this white people are privileged. And I believe that they're not going on this march because, can you see any black people down there? Because I can't. In fact, I'm looking and there is not one, not one. Can you see them? I'm looking down there. There is not one single black person. Not one. Not one. Look, big white head. Even the policeman ain't black. Even the dog's white. I tell you what, I've got loads and loads and loads of black friends. Asian friends, Turkish friends, in fairness, all over the place. Loads of people come and visit me. <clears throat> and do you know what, these people, why are they marching? Are they marching because they think that they're more superior? They really believe this bullshit that black people are less than white people. What a load of bullshit. I've got loads of black people in my family. And I don't consider them to be less superior than me because I was born into a white body. What a load of bollocks. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. And they're falling for this. They are falling for it. Look at that, all them people. Oh, look, at the very end, the very last person is a black man. And all of them, all of them are white. So that I can only assume that they think that they are more superior because these 1% that are financing this, instigating nothing but problems, are saying, oh, white people are privileged. Well, I know loads of white people that have got no money. I know loads of white people, whether they're English white or any other white, that have got nothing. And I know loads of black people that have got nothing. And I also know a load of black people that have got really good jobs and got nice houses and, and none of them are falling for this. So why are all these white people marching for Black Lives Matter? The same reason as oh the same reasons the same reason as people are phoning up the police and saying, Oh, that lady hasn't got her mask on or oh the people next door to me are having a barbecue and inviting their friends around and they shouldn't be doing that because of COVID. People are falling for this crap. They're falling for it. I'm really pleased to say that, do you know what? My friends are not falling for it. Thank God. And you know what, I wonder if they're going to fall for it once we go down with this second lot of COVID. They're all heading towards the town hall, I assume. There's the town hall there with the clock on it. Yeah, I wonder if, um, you know what, you wait until this next lot comes in. Because not one of these people has bothered to read Agenda 21. Not one of them. Yeah, you wait until 18 months time. All these people that think they're, uh, oh well, I don't like people that are unemployed, they're lazy, they are. They could go out there and get a job, oh yeah? Well, you're going to find out what the situation is, the truth. Because, like home base, closing, Louise. Oh, lost my job, worked for him for over 20 odd years. Well, there's loads of people out there who are going to lose their jobs. The shopping centre in, in Manchester, the main shopping centre is closing. It's closing. All the shops are going to have to close because the people that own the shopping centre have been put out of business. And that is exactly what the 1% want. That is exactly what Soros and all the bankers, they're going to throw you out your houses because you didn't pay the mortgage. 
of some scam. Most people don't know about the straw man. Do you know about the straw man? When you're born, everyone, when you're born, you're named, and then they also create what's called a straw man. And when you get a birth certificate for your child, when you sign that birth certificate, you've signed your child over to the queen or who's ever in charge of your country. So they can take your child off of you whenever they want. They can make your child go to war or they can do what they want because you've just signed your child over to them. And people don't know this. People are believing this BS. But you know what? We're going to go down for the next next wave of lockdown. Now, I don't know about where you are, but in the UK, loads of people went to the beach the other day. Well, first of all, the pictures that they showed everyone on the news <coughs> were pictures that were taken over two years ago when there was a big concert at the beach in Bournemouth. Bournemouth. So the pictures that they were showing and the footage the video footage they were showing wasn't even real footage, it was old footage from when they had a big concert on the beach a couple of years ago. And then they said, oh look, they're all coming up there at the back there. And then they said, I feel like going down and interviewing them all. And then they said, oh right, well if people keep going to the beach, or keep going out and not doing as they're told, they interviewed a police lady, some senior police lady, and she said, to her, oh well, we'll have to start using the law. What law? What law? What law? So that means they're taking away your human rights to choose whether you want to go out and take the chance of catching this BS COVID or you don't. I mean, it's craziness. It is absolutely craziness. And these people are falling for it. You know, why would a load of white people go on a march about Black Lives Matter? What, are they trying to prove Oh yeah, well we are superior to you, but we don't mean to be. We're really sorry about that. What, so you're apologising for being born white? That's craziness. Because there, there isn't colour. Colour doesn't exist. Colour only exists if you, if you allow it to. If everyone... Oh, just does my brain in. It does my brain in. And they don't seem to realise that, do you know what, I wouldn't be surprised because we've had it before in Walthamstow. I wouldn't be surprised because I never knew about this march today, but I would not be surprised if walking down the opposite way is that Antifa or, or White Lives Matter or, or what, do they, what do they call them, Make Britain Britain or the hooligans, the football hooligans. You know, the ones that, there's no football matches at the moment to beat people up. So do you know what? Let's go and beat up a few people and keep Britain white. What a load of rubbish. Britain's never been white. It's never been white. It's just feeds into it all the time. Like Tommy Robinson. I don't know if anyone's heard of Tommy Robinson because I know a lot of you are from around the world. Right, he's a white man that goes on and on and on and on about Asian people and Muslims and Pakis. And he goes on and on and on. And, oh yeah, all the Pakis, they're getting all the kids and, uh, you know, sex crimes and everything. And, uh, you know, they're turning him into prostitutes and everything. Well, do you know what, right? This week in the newspaper, on the internet, there is a group of white people, white, and they're not all young. There's an old lady there. There's an older bloke. They're all white, and they're all in court at the moment for grooming children and turning them into sex slaves. But they're all white. Where's Tommy Robinson? Why ain't Tommy Robinson stood up and said, hmm, hang on a minute, ain't just Pakistani people that do this, there's a load of white people do it as well. What about all the others? All the, all, all the others, the Albanians, the, the Turks, the, everyone, everyone's doing it. Well, not everyone's doing it, but it's not just Asian people. It makes me sick. So I'd assume that these white people on this march, considering we've just videoed them and there was one black person there, I'd say that they've obviously got it into their head that in some way or another, they seem to think that they're more superior than black people. I can only assume that because 
Why weren't there no black people on that march? Because most black people have got the sense to see beyond the BS that is being dished out to people. Because you know what? Like at the beach. Oh, oh by the way, the police officer, they interviewed her. Oh, well, if people keep gathering like this, we're going to start having to arrest them. And yet, there's been hundreds of people, thousands of people all over the place. All on these marches, what well, started four weeks ago. Why aren't everyone dropping down dead with COVID? If you can't go to the beach on a sunny day, how come you can do a march like this on a rainy day? As you can see, it's a very rainy day in London today. And there they are out there. I wouldn't be surprised if within the next half an hour or hour, they're probably all getting off at the trains at the moment, walking down. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I'm coughing and I don't know if Govich. I wouldn't be surprised if you've got all the football hooligans heading down this way. You know, as a going against black guys. We want our country back. And you know, most of them, they're just hooligans. They're just hooligans. Oh. Right, well, that's. To all my friends, you know what? We are all experiencing life. Not one of us chose what colour body, what size we're going to be, how tall we're going to be, how fat we're going to choose, how fat we're going to be. I suppose a lot of us can anyway. I can, I'm just fat. But we didn't choose how tall we're going to be, or what colour our skin's going to be, or our eyes, or our hair. It's no different to my Kobe dog mating with another dog. Could have been the dog that he mated with, which is a Labrador, but it could have been another dog, couldn't it? You know, you know those puppies are not going to say, oh, hang on a minute, I want to go back inside and come out again for different colour. It's craziness. So you're being punished. can only say that a whole protest full of white people you know what what is it they think they're better oh yeah we are better than you and we're really sorry about it what a load of BS because I tell you what any one of those was laying on an operating theatre and needed blood they ain't going to say to the doctor, or their relatives are not going to say to the doctor, or anyone else, whether you're black or you're white, you get racism everywhere. You get racism everywhere, whatever colour you are. They're not going to turn around and say, oh no, you can't put blood, they can't put that blood in them, because um, that blood came from someone that, that is the wrong colour. What a load of rubbish. And these are falling for it. And you know what, most of these, having been an environmental architect for years and years and years, I um, meet this, like they, the, they think they're the middle class. You know, they're climbing the ladder to the upper class. And they think they're the middle class because they say, oh, well, I've bought my home. No, you ain't, mate. You've got a bloody great big mortgage around your neck. I know very few people that have actually bought their home. And let me tell you something else. I don't care if you've bought your home because you haven't bought the land that it sits on. That belongs to the Queen. So nothing belongs to you. You might be able to sit in your garden that you paid a big mortgage for and loads of interest from money that you signed for a loan, but there was never any money there in the first place, but you're just playing the interest on it. Have a look at the straw man. Well, this is where the banks are all ripping you off. So COVID, what are they going to do? All these people that have got mortgages just ain't paid their mortgages for a few months. Oh, that's OK. We'll waiver it for three months. We'll waiver it. Which means that in three months' time, which is now going to be six months, because they're going to give us another three months lockdown, and then they'll give us another three months lockdown. And why? Because they're putting all of these satellites up into the space and they're prepping up for when they turn on 5G. And they need everyone to have a chip because that's the only real way that 5G is going to work. And then telling everyone, oh, do you know what? Um, you'll have to use your card to pay for everything. We're not going to take cash because cash is dirty. Oh, is it? Well, we've used it for thousands of years. 
So how comes everyone survived all these thousands of years and you're complaining that there's too many millions of people in the world but they've all been using cash? Why haven't they all dropped down dead? Oh no, we've got to use cards. And then you go to the supermarket. You've got ten tills there. One's open and all the rest is self-service. And people use the self-service. And then they wonder why they ain't got a job no more. Don't these people ever think to themselves that, you know what, my children are not going to have a job. They're going to they're gonna live and die on a computer playing horrific games. And the only people that are going to earn any money out of this is the corporates that own the colleges because parents have been convinced that if your kids ain't got a college education, they're never going to get a job. And, they, and then they're in debt up to their eyeballs and have got a degree and still ain't got a job. Or the prisons, which are all going to be private, or most of them privately owned now anyway. So, of course, you know what? If you want customers, where well, you're going to get paid money, or if you want goods, or you want a service that's going to finance your business, what better than to cause a situation where no one's got nothing and there's crime? Yep. And the prison officers, they get paid nothing nowadays. There used to be a time when a prison officer, God, you, everyone wanted that job because it was a really well paid job. Now, that ain't, probably don't earn much more than a bus driver. Crazy. Crazy, the world's gone crazy. So there's Docklands today. And there's the city. And there's the rest of it. And them lot are all standing down there on the grass in the rain. With their kids. Look, and there's the uh, leisure centre over there. Big brand new building. No one's using it. Not allowed to. Can't go swimming, can't go running, can't get on the... Can't do anything. That in front of me. Psychiatric hospital, brands banking new. Wonder why. Anyway, that woke me up. I'm gonna go and have a cup of coffee now. Crazy. Anyway, do you know what? I love you all. Love yourselves more. Whatever colour you are, love yourself. And love everyone else. Because you know what? That is the only way we're going to sort all these problems out. That's the only way. The only way we're going to sort all these bankers out and all of these blood-sucking, bloody, ladder-climbing BS people. The only way we're going to do it is by sticking together, forgetting about colour or religion, and seeing that we're all just one spirit. And they base it on, all this is based on the fear of dying. Oh, if you don't wear a mask, you're going to die. Well, you're going to die anyway. You're going to die anyway. So they're giving you the fear of the unknown. Do you know what? This is a time to fear. Because we are creating the unknown. What are they going to do next? Because it's going to be next year. They're going to start throwing people out of their houses. Anyway, love you lots. Bye-bye.